Joining me now is Michael Aliverdian, Nicholas's uncle. Thank you very much for taking the time. Appreciate it. So that was back in January, but now apparently you're not completely convinced. Your nephew and Arthur Knight are the same person. Yeah, I'm not totally convinced that uh, either way. Um, I've seen different videos of him, and uh, he's actually showed his arms in, in one without the tattoos, and he was known for his, the t tattoos on his arm. Uh, but um, there's a lot of characteristics that he has, as I remember him, but also there's a lot of differences also. So for me to, to say it's, it's him or it isn't him is, is very difficult. Now, had you been in touch with him before he, you know, disappeared or whatever the case was? Um, the last time I did speak with him was in 2017. Um, at that point, he, there were a few times I tried calling him. He didn't pick up, and it just went on like that. And so I haven't spoken to him since 2017. So now, I played a piece of sound before from the man who is your brother. Um, I, I want to play that again. Um, this is him being asked if the man on the video is in fact his son, and this is uh, this is what he said. You're sure that's him? Well, that's my son. There he is, right there. That's Nicky. What makes okay. you think it's him? Because I know my son. I just know my son. That's definitely Nicky. He's older, but it's him. So, if your brother says that, can we go to the bank on it? Uh. Can I correct you on something? Sure. That is not my brother. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I asked my actually. Passed, sorry. Passed it. Okay. So, so I, I was told, um, I'm sorry, I specifically had asked the question, December. and apparently we got bad information on that. I apologize. So, who was the person who was just uh, questioned there? Yeah. yeah. That was his stepfather who hasn't seen him in 20 years. So that's, so, th that's the stepfather. This is important, by the way, and this is why we're digging in here. So that's, that's the stepfather yes. who grew up with him and who's saying he knows it's him? Y yes. I mean, he, he was in, in Nicholas's life uh, from the mid-'90s till maybe around 2000, um, and then they divorced. Nick, mm. Nicholas's mother and, and his stepfather divorced. So he hasn't seen him in over 20 years. So it sounds like the answer, and I should have framed the question this way, is based on that identification to you is not going to determine one way or another whether it's definitely him. Exactly, yes. Right. Um, and you actually helped to organize his funeral? Yes, I was trying to, yes. Um, and was there anything sort of suspicious about the whole funeral that you now see looking back on it? Uh, not, not at the beginning. Um, what happened was we tried to set up a, basically a memorial service for him. And what happened was uh, at the last minute was uh, we were told we couldn't do it, which I found a little strange. We tried a different church. Uh, same type of situation. They said, sure, we'll do it. And at the last minute again, they just said, no, we can't do that. So hmm. things started getting a little bit crazy at that point. So um, we were just trying to figure things out. And my, um, I believed he was dead. I grieved for, for him uh, up until January 12th of, of this past year, this year here. And um, it happened to be the same day that I buried my brother, his, his biological father. Mm. Um, so I came home from my brother's service to hearing news that Nicholas was found. Mm. Supposedly it was Nicholas. Um, so I've been trying to figure things out. I've watched videos. I've done a couple of interviews. But for the most part, um, I'm still trying to figure out what the, what the true answer is. Yeah. Well, look, you're, regardless of what's going on here, <laughs> You're in a tough spot, um, and I appreciate you taking the time to come on the program and, uh, and share your thoughts with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.